Yeah, so I was choosing between two pieces of poetry. I couldn't choose, so I'm doing both of them, and hopefully I can fit them in five minutes, and I'm wasting the five minutes by doing the speech now, so... <laughs> <laughs> How not to be a meat stew. I found myself in a witch's pot. I can't recall how I got caught. <laughs> Never mind that I've forgotten a lot, for right now the pot's getting quite hot. <laughs> ha! said she, as she dropped in a squid, still wriggling in an escape bin. I found a nice meaty one, I did. Sit tight while I grab the lid. Miss Witch, Madame Witch, Ma'am Witch, called I. You're certainly the most witty wise witch to fly. But of all the methods, why boil me? Why? Wouldn't you rather bake a nice, meaty pie? Oh, a pie sounds good, she muttered, licking her lips. But it'll take time to mince you, and will I need chips? <laughs> I shrugged, think it over as you cut me to strips. While you're at it, maybe marinated ribs? But, Miss Witch, Madame Witch, Man Witch, I bleat, you'll have to be quick and turn off the heat. If I cook too early, I'll be tough to eat. You did say you wanted a nice meaty treat. You're a clever one, the old hag mused. Seems a shame to eat you. Your wits could be used. Well, sighed I, think it over, don't be confused, but while you decide, shouldn't I be from this pot removed? <laughs> so she put out the fire and hauled me out and set me to work, running about. Then I, then I spied her chopping up sprouts. What she decided, I had little doubt. When at last she pulled out the skillet, I rushed in and offered, let me do it! I found the bottom more useful than the top of the skillet, knocked the witch out cold into the pot, <laughs> then let her do it. <laughs>